Hi everyone, um, this is the first introduction of Houdini and over here I'm going to explain you a little bit the basics of uh, the Houdini interface and how the program is working. Okay, so what we see over here in Houdini we have like all these viewing panes. We have like a 3D pane and we have here parameters pane and we have over here in the network editor. So as you can see we have like some sort of a division in different screens and what you can do is you can just select them over here and just change them in size. Now there are some extra buttons that you see over here. It's like these little arrows and this gripper. Now if you click those arrows you see the direction is going to force the pane to collapse. So if you click on it you can completely collapse it until it's hidden. Now you can hit this button again to reveal it again. So you can place it again. So the same over here, you can push something up and again you see it's stored away like this. Now for the gripper, if you select it, this is going to switch around the views. So if you see it over here, this makes it a little bit more clear. This is switching it around. Now each one of those viewports can have one or multiple of these panes. So as you see over here, we have like the scene view, but we have also the channel editor, the render view, composite view, and each time you see this plus in which you can add like new views. So we see that everywhere. The cross you can use to remove it, um, and you have over here the possibility to just collapse the whole view together. You see that over here you can tear off a paint tab, so making a, a tear off paint tab copy, which you, you see like a new viewport that we can use to rotate in a different view. So there's lots and lots of possibilities to change the whole look and feel. One which is also important to show uh, is the one that we see over here, is the split pane left right and the split pane top bottom. So you see the shortcuts over here, Alt and those brackets. So let's do that for now. I'm going to use Alt the most right bracket and we see that's being split up like this. The most left bracket it's going to do it in a vertical sense. And you can continue on like that. You can just nest it all the way. So as you can see we have lots and lots of them. Now it's, if you have like one tab you can just remove it by clicking it like this or suppose you have multiple tabs like I said what you can do is over here you can close paint tab altogether close paint tab close paint tab well I'm gonna leave this one for now because I think we can have like an, uh, a very good useful extra view I'm going to change this view. Uh, right now it's set to scene view and I'm going to change it into an attribute view. I'm going to explain what it is later. So right click it and over here it's not attribute view, they call it details view. Click it over here. And this is going to show all the details of the geometry or objects you're working with. It's a little bit comparable to the component editor that you have in Maya. Okay, um, so this concludes it a little bit for uh, editing the viewing panes. Just gonna switch this one over, and this is more or less the setup I tend to use all the time. So right here I have my 3D view, over here my details view, over here my network view, which I'm going to explain to you in the next session, and over here all my settings that I tend to use and that's also going to be much more clear in the next session.